So we're here with Nancy Turner again. She is the founder of this old horse, the racehorse, what would you call it? Re, uh, reimagined. Reimagined. Racehorse reimagined. Now, I really like the way Rachel said it earlier, that these are not rescue horses. That's these correct. are horses that are off the track that are going to their next phase in life. That's right. Um, what we consider is a transition program. So we have connections with the racing industry, the harness races and thoroughbreds, and the owners there that want their horses aren't uh, performing to their level at the racetrack, they want to have a safe harbor to move forward. So we are a transition from the racehorse owners to the adopters or the sellers. Um, so it's a bow tie. They come into us and we try to find them. Sure. That's awesome. That's how this whole, that your organization fits into place here. We're going to go over the simple, and I mean simple, uh, rules here. So these horses are going to be selling. They're, we're selling them, adopting them, however you want to say it, for, for a price. They're going to be selling on Designer Horse Sales uh, next Saturday, a week from today, for the, the final bid. There is a $1,500 minimum reserve, but then after that, it's a no reserve, they will sell. Um, these are the simple rules that you, that you do, and you can find this on the link on Designer Horse Sales. If you have any questions, you, uh, email us or message us, or you can go to thisoldhorse.org. The rules are very easy. It's so easy. Nancy, explain them to us again. Well, one of the things uh, is that we are an, we're accredited by the Third Right After Care Alliance, which is the national accreditation, very high standards. Part of our accreditation process is that we have some conditions for sales or adoptions. And they're, like you said, they're very simple. So one of them is that we have to qualify an adopter before transferring ownership of that. And it's just a matter of you are who you say you are, you live where you say you live. You know, sure. just a, it's like verifying that. So there's no nefarious activity you know, going on. The, so, uh, so the next thing is we agree, our buyers or adopters have to agree that for two years that we follow along with the horse. How's it going? Checking in. Just uh, what we think is that when a horse comes through us, we become part of our family. Sure. It's not like a divorce, it's more of a year. <laughs> and so we agree to a two year follow along just so we. Phone calls, email message, whatever. Most people email tell us how the horse is doing. Sure. It's just very simple. Yep. The other thing is uh, that we have to be notified of any change in ownership in the, in the same thing for the two year window of time. So if you get a horse, put some training on it, and sell it. Then we, the new buyer goes through the same simple process of verifying in the application. That's so, right. so if I buy a horse for four thousand and I train him, and a year from now he's worth thirty-four thousand, that doesn't matter, does it? That's right. No, as long as we just, as long as we, the jockey club for thoroughbreds always follows along where the horse is. Sure. So we just go on our website and we just say this is the new owner, and just so we follow it because our horses get lost along the way, and what well, they tried to do is safety net to say, bring it to Can I go ahead and just say that keeping horses out of the slaughter pipeline is the goal. The goal. That's right. They don't, where the horses go, as long as they're going to 11 family, doesn't really matter. Keeping that's them out of the slaughter pipeline that's is the end goal. So that's the that's the cover of that, yep. right? yeah. yeah, and that's the whole idea yeah. with the uh, the accreditation sure. is that they follow them. Sure. Uh, you know, yeah. it's, it's it's a safety. It's good for horses. Well, and everybody buying the horses here this week or period, they don't want them in slaughter pipeline either. That's so correct. They, yeah, they, they don't go to your website to find right. that horse. Right. That. So, um, and then the last thing is that we have a return to the organization policy that at any point for any reason that whoever owns the horse wants, doesn't want it anymore or wants it, you know, something happens, circumstances change for the horse or the person, mm -hmm. that it's a return, we take the horse back, regardless of how long it's been, sure. that we will always take the horse back if, if, if people, if that's where it lands, which is, again, they're all microchipped with the lifeline back to us okay. uh, in there, and so if something were to happen, the horse ended up in peril, that would be tra tracked back to us or so people's sure. circumstances change. Absolutely. And, and it's so, nice to know that you have a fallback to where you can bring the horse back yeah. and the horse will then be uh, ridden again so and sent yeah. off to another family. That's right. It's yeah. just you like know, that's so. why our business is a transition at yeah. whatever yeah. stage yeah. of life. So I think that for this we have the safety net and the follow along are the two features of this, which is good for horses. So, Absolutely. And, and again, I want to reiterate, this is not an onerous process where people, it's not going to take a week to do it. Our placement team is here, right there on site. They start getting on the application and we can do that in a moment.
we can get a hold of people okay. sure. that we need to contact. And on your end, where do we find the application? That it's at thisholdhorse.org. Thisholdhorse.org. And we are going to try to, I believe, have the application on Designer Horse Sales website. We also have the Designer Horse Sales app. It's very simple. Download the Designer Horse Sales app, and you can get all this information. Uh, we'd love to pass along uh, contact information you guys, uh, this has been a great program, and it's, it's, this is your, this is the first year that Designer Horse Sales has been involved in this. This is your second year of doing the, the uh, relocation program here. Yeah, we did a pilot program last year with four horses just to see if there was any interest on behalf of the students, and there was, and it worked great. So then this year they opened it up for auditions for people for the class, and I think they told maybe 25 of the students tried out, and they selected 12. So, yeah. this is also the QR code for the directly for the application. Okay. So, that, that's on our material as well. Super. Nancy, thank you. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too.